Praise the Lord and good morning, afternoon, evening, or whatever time of the day it may be for you. Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. <clears throat> amen. We do apologize for the, amen, technical difficulties of us uh, getting our camera situated, amen, and positioned properly. Amen. We do apologize for that. Amen, in Jesus' name, but praise God. Amen, the Lord is still good, and he's still on his throne. Praise God, he is still worthy to be praised. Amen, so. So, in spite of the changes of technology, and, amen, and situations, amen, God is still the same, he is still good, amen, he is still a blessing. Praise the Lord. He's still in the saving business. Praise God. And if you, praise the Lord, want to be saved, amen, he is able to save you, amen, even today. <clears throat> amen. Praise God if you will give your life to him, amen, in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. But it must be a choice that you must make. Amen. The Bible says that whosoever will, let him come and drink of the water of life freely. Amen. There must first be a will in mind, then it is acceptable. Praise God. And that's what the Holy Bible teaches. Amen. Praise God that <clears throat> even though God in all his splendor and power and glory, amen, praise God, if he wanted to, amen, praise God, he can force everyone on this earth to serve him. Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. It's just a matter of him speaking his word. Amen. For it to happen. Amen. In Jesus name. But amen. Glory to God. God, you know, he's, as they say, the perfect gentleman. Amen. Praise God. And <clears throat> he will not force anything upon us. Amen. In terms of serving him in the beauty of holiness. Amen. Praise God. So today. While you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. You must be born again of the water and of the spirit. If you want to enter into the kingdom of God. Amen. And praise God. We thank God for all of you. Amen. Who are listening, tuning in. Amen. Praise God through this Sunday morning. <clears throat> Amen. Live stream broadcast. Amen. Praise God on this side of the planet, amen, in Central Standard Time of the United States, amen, praise God, it's a little after 8.30, amen, in Jesus' name, so, you know, the exact time is 8.35, <clears throat> amen, praise the Lord, so, amen, and we thank God, amen, for all the saints who are tuning in, as well as those who have not yet been, amen, converted according to the scriptures, we thank God for you tuning in, amen, praise God, you can Amen. Tune in every time as well as, amen, watch the, amen, archive, amen, videos, amen, that are, amen, on our live stream website. Amen. Praise God. And we will go before the Lord in prayer. <clears throat> Dear Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus Christ, we give you the glory and the honor, O God, hallelujah, for you are worthy to be praised, O God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for another day that you have made. Oh, God, you have woke us up. Oh, God, clothed us in our right minds. Oh, God, you have blessed us, oh, God, with the breath of life. Oh, God, to remain in our nostrils even until now, oh, God. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, oh, God, for sparing us, oh, God. We thank you, Lord, for the truth of your gospel, oh, God. Even the truth, hallelujah, that have made us free and that is able to make a man or a woman free if they would obey it. Oh, God, and we just thank you, Lord Jesus, for bringing us out of darkness into your marvelous light. We ask, oh, God, that you would touch and bless all, oh, God, who are tuning in through the live stream broadcast. Oh, God, we ask that you would meet every need that they have, oh, God, every spiritual need, natural need. We pray, Lord God, that you break yokes, oh, God, tear down strongholds in their life. Oh, God, we pray, Lord Jesus, oh, God, that you would grant them even godly sorrow, to work repentance and turning away from the practice of all their sins. 
Oh God, hallelujah. And then, hallelujah, that they may be baptized properly in your name, Jesus. And hallelujah, that you be pleased to fill them with the gift of your Holy Ghost. Oh God, that they be more sons and daughters in your everlasting kingdom. Oh God, and we just ask all these things in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So, <clears throat> amen. Praise God. Amen. So we thank God, amen, for the truth once again. Amen. The truth have, amen, made us free. Praise God. And it is keeping us free. Amen. I thank the Lord that one day, amen, he blessed me to, amen, hear the truth. Amen. Praise God. And obey it myself. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He gave me the, amen, the power, the will, and the do of his good pleasure to turn from the practice of my sins. Amen. Amen. And I was baptized in water, amen, by a true man of God in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of my sins. God filled me with the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And just as the disciples, praise God. <clears throat> in Acts chapter 2 on the day of Pentecost, we spoke in other tongues as well as the Spirit of God gave us the utterance. Amen. Praise God. And we've been abiding in the apostles' doctrine. Amen. Of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And praise God. The word of God has not changed. Amen. Praise God. Even though you got man changing it. Amen. Or supposedly changing it. Amen. Praise God. Amen. You got. Amen. Many of you. Amen. Praise God. Grew up in these churches. Some of you still a part of them. Amen. They're claiming to be Christians. Amen. Claim to be a Christian church. Amen. Praise God. But their teaching is contrary to the Holy Scriptures. Amen. It is contrary to the Word of God. Amen. Praise God. Where in the Bible do you find, amen, that all a person have to do is bow their head and repeat a sinner's prayer? Amen. Where in the Scriptures do you find that, amen, all one has to do in order to be saved is to accept Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior? Amen. Praise God. That is a straight up lie. Amen. Praise God. That is not in the Bible at all. Amen. Praise God. You can open up, praise God, the King James Bible, read from Genesis all the way to Revelation. You will not see a sinner's prayer. Amen. You will not see no scripture where it says you have to, amen, praise God, bow your head and repeat some sinner's prayer and accept Christ as your Lord and Savior. Amen. That is a straight up lie. Amen. Praise God. I'm not beating around the bush. Amen. Or being sugar-coated about it. Amen. That is a lie. Amen. Praise God. Your pastor is a liar. Amen. You sitting under someone that's telling you that's all you had to do and you're saved and you're instantly, amen, a child of God. He is a liar. Amen. He told you a lie. Amen. And he has you believing a lie. Amen. Praise God. Because the Bible do not teach that. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Bible teaches that you must be born again of the water and of the spirit in order to enter into the kingdom of God. Amen. Praise God. You must be born again after you have repented and turned from the practice of your evil ways. Praise God. After you have denied yourself. Amen. And took up your cross to follow Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Repentance. Amen. Involves denying oneself. Amen. Praise God. You must deny yourself. Amen. Of the pleasure of drinking. Amen. Deny yourself of the pleasure of smoking. Deny yourself of the pleasure. Amen. Of committing fornication and adultery. Amen. Praise God. Having sex outside of the bonds of marriage. Amen. Or if you are married. Amen. Stepping outside of your marriage. Amen. And committing adultery. Amen. Praise God. Either with the harlot. Amen. Or the gigolo. Amen. Praise God. You must repent. Amen. Praise God. Then you must get it right. Amen. Praise God. If you are married. Amen. With your spouse. Amen. Your husband or your wife. Praise God. You must own up to them that you stepped outside of your marriage. Amen. Praise God. Because praise the Lord. It may still be on paper, but it's busted up now. is already destroyed, amen, praise God, but the question is, can it be reconciled, amen, praise God, once you have, praise God, told your, amen, betrayed, amen, party, or your betrayed spouse, 
amen, that you stepped out, amen, against him. Praise God. Amen, glory to God. But either way, you must repent, amen, from those sins, amen. You must repent, amen, from lying, amen. You must deny yourself of the pleasure, amen, or convenience or benefit of lying, amen, bearing false witness, praise God, whether for financial gain, amen, praise God, or for uh, fame or popularity, amen. P people have all kind of reasons or excuses why they tell lies. Amen. Some people tell lies, amen, to get themselves out of a jam. Amen. They feel that they're in a jam and the only way out or the easy way out is to tell a lie. Amen. To speak something that is not true. Amen. Praise God. The Bible says that all liars shall have their part in the lake that burneth with fire and brimstone. Praise God. So if you want to avoid, amen, the lake of fire on judgment day, Amen. You must repent from the sin of lying. Amen. Bible says, speaking truth, every man with his neighbor. Amen. Praise God. So even if it hurts sometimes, praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. You do your soul a big favor just by telling the truth. Amen. Praise God. The Bible says that we are to speak the truth and lie not. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. You must deny yourself amen, from the practice of sin, amen, praise God, hallelujah, you must deny yourself, amen, that's what repentance means, praise God, hallelujah, putting a stop to what you're doing against the word of God, amen, because hallelujah, sin is a transgression of God's law, amen, and praise God as the Lord bless, amen, we will go a little bit, amen, concerning God's law this morning, Amen. Praise God. We will be going into the Old Testament. So turn with me here into the book of Exodus, chapter 20. And of course, amen, this is, amen, praise God, the, amen, the old covenant law. But praise God, we can still, amen, touch on some things out of here and make a right division. Amen. Praise God to distinguish between the old covenant and the new covenant. Amen. Because we are indeed under the new covenant of grace. Amen. The lawgiver put on flesh himself and came down. Amen. Praise God. Born of a virgin. Praise God. Lived 33 years as a man on this earth. Praise God. And did many wonderful signs and wonders. Praise God. Healed the sick. Raised up the dead. Cast out devils. Praise God. Handpicked chosen apostles. Amen. Praise God. Died on the cross for our sins. Praise the Lord. Became the Lamb of God. Amen. Praise God to take away the sins of the world. Amen. Praise God died. Amen. Was buried. And after three days, he rose again. Hallelujah. With all power. Amen. And that is the man, Christ Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Because the Bible says that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself. Amen. Praise God. And in him, speaking of Jesus, dwell of all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. That's why the prophet Isaiah said, praise God, and he shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Everlasting Father, the Mighty God. Amen. Jesus Christ is the Mighty God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. There is no Trinity. Amen. There is no two separate persons in the Godhead or three separate persons in the Godhead. Praise the Lord. There is only one God. Amen. Hallelujah. And his name is Jesus Christ. Praise God. Hallelujah. God came down himself. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. In the man Christ Jesus. Amen. That's why he was able to say, I am my father one. Amen. When you see me, you see the father. Amen. He that see of me, see of not me, but him that sent me. He that believeth on me, believeth not on me. But on him that sent me, praise God. So you mean to tell me that Jesus Christ, amen, sent himself? Amen. Yes, indeed he did. Amen. And he is the Father. Amen. Praise God. The scripture teaches so. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So Exodus chapter 20. Amen. We will start at verse 1. And God spake the, all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Amen. Praise God. And he is the same Lord God today. 
Amen. The Bible says, hallelujah, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 5, that there is only one law, one faith, and one baptism. Amen. One God and Father of all who is above all and through all. Amen. Praise God. And it was addressed to the saints at Ephesus. Amen. Those who have already, amen, obeyed Acts 2.38. Praise God. So Paul was able to write, and in you all. Amen. Praise God. Everyone who has been born again of the water and of the spirit who have repented, been baptized in water, amen, immersed in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission or removal, forgiveness of their sins, and God filled them with the gift of the Holy Ghost. Praise God. Hallelujah. God is in that man. God is in that woman. Amen. Praise God. They have been made a new creature in Christ Jesus. Amen. Praise God. As the Bible says, old things are passed away and behold, all things are become new. Amen. Praise God. The moment, praise God, you hallelujah, you receive, amen, the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. You are now made a new creature. Amen. A creation in Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. That is what makes, amen, you a son or a daughter of God. Amen. Not you joining some false church. Amen. And Praise God and signing your name on some membership roll and amen, Rev or whoever say, all right, you're not part of the church. God bless you. No, praise God. That no Bible, amen, no book, chapter and verse for that madness. Praise God. Hallelujah. You must come in by the door. Amen. Praise God. Otherwise, hallelujah. Amen. You are on your way to hell even today. Amen. If you reject this gospel, praise God. And God spake these words. So Exodus chapter 20, amen, verse 1. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Amen. And God, hallelujah, desired to bring you out of the land of Egypt today. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I'm talking spiritually. Amen. Praise God. Because hallelujah, serving the devil Amen. Praise God. Walking in darkness. Amen. That is bondage. Amen. Praise God. To be bound in sin and trespasses. Praise God. Hallelujah. You are in bondage today. Amen. The Bible says whosoever commit of sin is the servant of sin. Amen. Praise God. In other words, a slave. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. If you are in sin today, you are a slave to sin. Praise God. Hallelujah. You are a slave to alcoholism. Amen. A slave to drugs. Amen. Praise God. A slave to pornography. Amen. Watching that foolishness and that filth. Amen. Praise God. You are a slave today. Amen. Praise God. But God is able. Amen. And he is willing. Amen. Praise God to bring you out of the house of bondage. Amen. Praise God. Out of the devil's camp. Praise God and make you a child of his own. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. He is able to save you. Amen. Praise God. If you let him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God will not force himself upon no one. Amen. You must make that willing choice. Amen. Praise God to give up your life for Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. You must make the choice in yourself. Amen. That you are willing to serve the Lord according to the Bible. Amen. Praise God. According as it is written. Amen. Rightly divided. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. And part of that, praise God, is believing the gospel. Praise the Lord. And when you believe the gospel, praise God, you will do what it requires you to do. Praise God. You will follow the instructions of the gospel. Amen. Praise God. And the gospel is about the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. Jesus Christ willingly died on that cross. You must likewise willingly die to sin. Amen. Practicing sin. Praise God. Jesus was buried. Praise the Lord. You must likewise be buried. Amen. Praise God through water baptism in Jesus name. Jesus Christ was resurrected from the dead. Amen. Praise God. You must likewise be resurrected. Amen. Praise God with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Praise God in order to walk in newness of life. Amen. So verse three, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. No other gods. Amen. No other idols. 
Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. So verse 4. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Amen. Praise God. So no, amen, statues of, amen, angels or statues of so-called saints, amen, or statues of Jesus or statues of Mary, amen. That is idolatry, amen, praise God, hallelujah, Catholic Church, amen, full of it, amen, praise God, hallelujah, amen, in Jesus' name, so hallelujah, amen, this verse, amen, praise God, clearly, and even in the New Testament, praise God, hallelujah, the Bible condemns idolatry, amen, praise God, it makes it plain that all idolaters, amen, will not inherit the kingdom of God. You're not going to heaven, amen, if you are an idolater, amen. You must repent from the sin of idolatry. Praise God, hallelujah, amen, in Jesus' name. Thou shalt not bow thyself to them, amen. So no bowing down to the statue, amen, or the picture or whatever, amen, and praying to it, amen. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, amen. I don't care. Amen. Praise God. False Pope calls it. Amen. The Eucharist. Amen. Or whatever. Praise God. That's idolatry. Amen. That's a graven image. Amen. Something that was made by man's hands. Amen. Praise God. A creature. Amen. A created thing. Amen. That do not have any power at all. Amen. To save or to destroy. Amen. Praise God. That is idolatry. Amen. The Bible says that God is invisible. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. You need to pray to God. Amen. You need to bow down and serve God. Amen. Even Jesus Christ. Amen. Not some Amen. Dead statue. Praise God. That all it would take is for someone to push it over. Amen. And it falls down to the ground and crack and break. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. That is a dead. Amen. Idol. Praise God. And verse six. And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Amen. Praise God. So hallelujah. Jesus said that. Amen. The New Testament. He said, if ye love me, keep my commandments. Amen. Praise God. He didn't say, do the best you can. Amen. He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Praise God. We can go there. Amen. Yes, Lord. So hold your place here in Exodus 20. Yeah, so hold your place in Exodus 20 and turn with me or uh, skip to uh, John chapter 14, verse 15. So, or you can just write it down and read it later. Praise the Lord. Amen. So John chapter 14, verse 15, Jesus said, he said, if ye love me, keep my commandments. Amen. In other words, do what I tell you to do. Amen. Praise God. Not do the best you can. Amen. And praise God. Hallelujah. Not bow down to statues and idolatry. Amen. Not drinking and smoking. Amen. And still lifting up your hands and crying holy on Sundays. No. He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Amen. Praise God. So now back to Exodus chapter 20. Amen. So uh, chapter Exodus chapter 20, verse 7. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Amen. Praise God. So, amen. You shouldn't be using the name of Jesus Christ as a cuss word. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. That is taking his name in vain or saying his name whenever you, amen, angry or upset. Amen. Praise God. That is blasphemy. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. I know some sellers that have enough respect not to even use 
the Lord's name like that, but praise God in this last and evil days, amen, praise God, you got people like that, amen, praise God, and hallelujah, he said here, amen, he will not hold you guiltless, amen, using his name in vain, because Jesus Christ is the name of the Lord, amen, praise God, it's the name of the Father, John chapter 5, verse 43, of course, we know it's the name of the Son, Matthew chapter 1, verse 21, and it's the name of the Holy Ghost. John chapter 14, verse 26. Jesus Christ is the name of God. Amen. It is the name of the Lord God because Jesus Christ is the Lord God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. For the Lord will not hold him guiltless or her. Praise God. Mankind in general. For the Lord will not hold him guiltless that... Take him, his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Amen. So this was a command for the Jews under the law of Moses. Amen. That they were not supposed to work. Amen. On Saturdays. Amen. Praise God. But hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. But transitioning it over to the New Testament. Amen. Praise God. We are not under the law of Moses in that sense. Praise God. We are under the covenant of grace. Amen. Praise God. So hallelujah. The only thing that God wants us to rest from now, amen, is from, amen, the labor of sin. Praise God. I want you to rest from sin. Praise God every day. Amen. Praise God. And we will turn there. Amen. In Jesus' name. So you can hold your place in Exodus 20. Amen. Let's go to Matthew chapter 11. So Matthew chapter 11, amen, because the word Sabbath, amen, praise God, it actually means rest, amen, a day of rest, amen, praise God. So Jesus said, Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest, amen, in other words, I will give you Sabbath, amen, praise God, rest from sin, amen, rest Amen. From walking in darkness. Rest from being bound by the devil. Amen. Praise God. Taking captive of the devil. Amen. Praise God. Doing the devil's bidding. Amen. God, Jesus Christ wants to give you rest. Amen. From that kind of label. Amen. Praise God. Where you can, hallelujah, keep it holy every day. Not just on Saturday, praise God, but on Sunday. Holy on Monday. Holy on Tuesday. Holy on Wednesday. Holy on Thursday, holy on Friday, holy again on Saturday, and praise God, and week after week, month after month, year after year, praise God, until the end of your days, God wants to keep you living a holy life, praise God, because God requires holiness, amen, praise God, not religion, amen, praise God, of vain traditions of men, praise God, hallelujah, not Amen. Keeping the commandments of teachings of men, praise God, but keeping the teachings and commandments of God. Amen. Praise God, because hallelujah. Amen. It is up to God. Amen. Whether you are saved or whether you are lost. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. This word, amen, that we're preaching here, it's not something that I made up. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. If you got your Bibles open, if you're following me, amen, you will see Amen. It is written in the Holy Scriptures. Amen. This is not, amen, Time Magazine. Praise God. Hallelujah. This is the Holy Bible. Amen. So Jesus said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest. Hallelujah. Amen. Sabbath for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. So remember the commandments of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. To obey them, to keep them. Amen. And live holy. Praise God. Hallelujah. So back to Exodus chapter 20. Amen. Praise God. In uh, verse 9. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it shall thou, thou shalt do, shall not do any work. Thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all 
that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Honor thy father and mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Amen. Praise God. And that command, praise the Lord, <clears throat> is still in effect today. Amen. You're supposed to honor your parents. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. In spite of how bad they may be. Amen. Praise God. I know some of us may have some awful parents. Amen. Praise God. Some of us may have came in a home where the parent, amen, didn't love us. Amen. Hated us. Amen. Mistreated us. Amen. Praise God. But hallelujah, if you want to be saved, amen, praise God. You have to let that all go. Praise the Lord. Amen. Ask God for the strength. Amen. The help that you need. Praise God to heal. Amen. Praise God from those wounds. Amen. Praise God to forgive. Amen. Praise the Lord and move on. Amen. Praise God and honor your father and your mother. Amen. In other words, show them the proper respect that's due. Amen. Praise God because, amen, in spite of, amen, whether they did you good, amen, did you bad or someone in between or off and on, praise God, they are the ones, amen, who given you life, amen, that the Lord used to, amen, bring you into this world. Amen. Praise the Lord. So that is something that Amen. Should be honored. If no more than that, you know, that's my mama or that's my mother. Amen. That's my father. Amen. God used them to, amen, bring me into this world. Amen. Give me life. Amen. And he commands that I honor them. Amen. Not, not praise God. I ain't talking about, amen, praise God. Uh, call, let them cause you to sin. No, no, I ain't talking about that. Praise God. No, it, it don't say, amen. Amen. Do whatever your parents say, even if it's wrong. No, I just say honor. Amen. In other words, respect. Amen. Thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land, which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Amen. Praise God. So that's the command with promise. Amen. That your days may be long. Amen. You ever wonder why, amen, some of these folk, amen, lives to be in their 90s, amen, in their hundreds? Amen. Praise God. We know, amen. I can't recall his name right now, but he was a World War II veteran. Uh, some of you may know who I'm talking about. The man about to be 109 years old. Amen. Praise God. But you know why he's still alive today? Because he honored his parents. I rest assured you, he honored his parents. If he did nothing else right, he honored his father and his mother. Amen. When they were alive in his land. And now he's over 100 years old. Amen. The Lord bless him. He's going to be 109 years old. Amen. Praise God. So, amen. Verse 13. Thou shalt not kill. Amen. Praise God. You shall not take another person's life. Amen. Something that you cannot even give back. Amen. Praise God. Now, praise God, if you have, amen, killed someone before in the past, praise God, don't fret, you can still be saved, amen, but don't go about killing anyone anymore, amen, go and sin no more, amen, praise God, go and, amen, kill no more, amen, praise God, amen, hallelujah, and the blood of Jesus Christ will wash away all sins, amen, praise the Lord, hallelujah, you repent, Amen. Praise God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. God will fill you with the Holy Ghost. Praise God. You can go on. Amen. Living holy. Amen. And go and sin no more. Amen. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Amen. Praise God. Amen. For married couple. Amen. Men, women. Amen. Praise God. You shall not go out of your marriage. Amen. Praise God. And have sex with someone that is not your husband and not your wife. Amen. And I'm not talking about two sodomites. Amen. And two lesbians either. Amen. Praise God. That's not a marriage. Amen. That is an abomination. Praise God. I don't care how many laws they pass. Praise God. That is not a marriage. Amen. Praise God. Washington can say what they want. Praise God. But according to the Holy Scriptures, amen, a marriage, amen, praise God, is a covenant between one man and one woman. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Only one man and one woman, praise God, can come together and be one flesh. Amen. Not two men together or two women together. Amen. Praise God. That's not a marriage. Amen. That is perverted foolishness. Amen. Filth. Praise God. Hallelujah. 
Amen. So thou shalt not commit adultery. Amen. Praise God. Don't be stepping outside your marriage. And if you have, praise God, you need to repent. Praise God. Hallelujah. And let, praise God, your spouse know. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. That you betrayed them. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Because, hallelujah, if you hide your sin, you can't prosper. Bible says, whoso covereth his sin shall not prosper. But whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall obtain mercy. Amen. Praise God. That's the only way you're going to get that. Amen. Under the blood, praise God, you must first confess. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And repent. Praise God. Amen. So, verse 15, thou shalt not steal. Amen. Don't take something that don't belong to you. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Something that was not given to you. Amen. That's still. Amen. Praise God. No thief going to heaven. Praise God. You cannot be saved being a thief. Amen. Praise God. That's what the Bible said about Judas. He was a thief. Amen. Praise God. And we know, of course, he was a traitor. Amen. Because he sold out Jesus Christ. Amen. For 30 pieces of silver, the price of a slave. Amen. Praise God. So hallelujah. Amen. You, you have to stop stealing. Amen. Go and steal no more. Amen. Verse 16. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Amen. Praise God. So don't be lying. Amen. Telling lies to your neighbor. Amen. Praise God. Speaking something that is not true. Amen. That is hallelujah called bearing false witness. Amen. Not true witness, but false witness. Amen. Praise God. And you got people doing that today like it's nothing. Amen. Praise God. That is a sin. Amen. That is a transgression of the word of God. Amen. Praise God. That is a work of unrighteousness. Amen. To go about telling something that's not true. Be speaking lies. Amen. Praise God. Bear false witness. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Bible says you're supposed to speak that what you know and testify of that which you have seen. Amen. Praise God. If you don't know it, if you haven't seen it, amen. Praise God. Then you shouldn't speak on it. Amen. Praise God. Because if you do, amen, you are a false witness. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So verse 17, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Amen. Praise God. So amen. You shouldn't be lusting after someone else's possessions. Amen. Shouldn't be coveting. Amen. Or lusting after someone else's wife, someone else's husband. Amen. Someone else's house. Someone else's car. Amen. Someone else's job. Amen. Praise God. Someone else's possessions. Praise God. That is covetousness. Amen. And covetousness, amen, is a form of idolatry. Amen. Praise God. And the Bible says, praise the Lord. Amen. Such will not inherit the kingdom of God. So you must repent from the sin of covetousness. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. And believe God to bless you. Amen. With what you need. Amen. Praise God. Not what you want. Praise God. But with what you need. Amen. Praise God. So we read that again. Thou shalt not covet. Amen. In other words, lust or, or long for a desire after someone else's. Amen. Covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant nor his ox, nor his ass, which means donkey, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Amen. Anything that belongs to your neighbor. Amen. Praise God. You have no business coveting after their possessions. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Glory to God. You need to serve God. Hallelujah. In the beauty of holiness. Amen. And let God bless you. Amen. Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Amen. You put God first, praise the Lord. God will bless you. Amen. Will give you everything that you need. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. So there is no need to covet after someone else's possessions. Amen. Praise God. Covet after spiritual gifts. Amen. Covet after, praise God, deliverance. Amen. Nothing wrong with having a desire for being delivered, a desire Amen. For being saved. Amen. Praise God. Because that comes from God. 
Amen. Praise God. And that is a desire, amen, that God wants for you. Amen. Praise God. So that's something that you should desire. Amen. Desire to be a true son or daughter of the most high God. Amen. And the only way that you can be a true son or daughter of God is by obeying the scriptures. Amen. You must be born again of the water and of the spirit. Praise God. Just as Peter preached on the day of Pentecost, full of the Holy Ghost. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. He had just received the Holy Ghost. Amen. Praise God in the upper room with the other 119. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. He was letting the people know that praise God, this same man, praise the Lord that you have crucified. Amen. Speaking of Jesus. Amen. God have made him both Lord and Christ. Praise God. Hallelujah. And when they saw Peter and the rest of the apostles, praise God, they were pricked in the heart and they said, men and brethren, what shall we do? Praise the Lord. And then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promises unto you and to your children and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. Amen. Praise God. And with many other words, did he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this untoward generation. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And the Bible says that they that gladly received his word were baptized and were added. The same day, about 3,000 souls, amen, 3,000 people, amen, praise God. They didn't say, oh, that ain't what my real teach. That ain't what I heard growing up in the Baptist church. Uh, hallelujah. They said, man, look here. I want to be saved. Praise God. Hallelujah. I believe that Jesus Christ is the Messiah. Amen. Praise God that the scriptures prophesy. Hallelujah. Amen. And praise God. I'm not going to argue with Peter. Amen. I'm going to repent and be baptized in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. And live a holy life. <clears throat> and Acts chapter 2 verse 42 says, and they continue steadfast. Amen. Which means firm. Amen. Praise God. In the apostles doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread. And in prayers, amen. They didn't continue in the Catholic doctrine, amen. They did not continue in the Protestant doctrine, amen. Praise God, or Islamic doctrine, amen, or Chrislamic doctrine, amen. Praise God, they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine, amen. The same teaching, amen, that the apostles taught, the same teaching that the apostles were given, amen, that they received. From the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. They received commandment. Amen. Praise God from Jesus Christ himself. Praise God. Hallelujah. That repentance and remission of sins be preached in Jesus name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem. Amen. That's why we preach in Jesus name. Amen. We teach in Jesus name. Praise God. That's why we preach and teach Jesus name baptism. Amen. Because hallelujah the Bible Amen. Teaches so. Praise God. That is what the apostles taught. Amen. No apostle went around baptizing in titles. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. They baptized in the name. Amen. Praise God. The name of the Father is Jesus. The name of the Son is Jesus. The name of the Holy Ghost is Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. So if you were baptized. Amen. By some man, and now he says, I now baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Ghost. Amen. He never used the name. Praise God. Hallelujah. That baptism didn't mean nothing. Amen. Praise God. Your sins have not been remitted. You are still in your sins. Amen. Your sins are not washed away. Praise God. Amen. Glory to God. You must be baptized in water. Amen. Not by a false prophet, but by a true man of God. Amen. Someone who preaches Acts 2.38 as the only plan of salvation. Someone who is in the apostles doctrine. Amen. Of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Who believes and teaches the doctrine of Christ. Amen. Praise God. You must be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And God himself will baptize you 
with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Praise God. He, you, hallelujah. He will fall down on the inside of your soul. You will speak in other tongues. Amen. Or languages as his spirit gives the utterance. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Whether, praise God, your amen speaking can be interpreted by someone who has the gift of interpretation or it can't be. Praise God. Long as God given the utterance. Amen. Praise God. That is the birth of the spirit. Amen. Birth of the water is baptism in Jesus' name. Birth of the spirit being filled with the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. Amen. Praise God. That is the born again experience. But step one, of course, amen, is repentance. Amen. You must turn from your practice of your sins. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. And that is a choice you must make. Amen. Praise God. But if you make that choice, God will give you the strength and the power you need to give up all those habits. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. And so we thank God. Amen. For another webcast or broadcast. Amen. Of the live stream. Amen. Praise God. And you can give us a call. Amen. My number is 832-360-5812. That's 832-360-5812. My email address is apostolicminister at att.net. Amen. Our address is P.O. Box 15812, Houston, Texas, 77220. <clears throat> Excuse me. Amen. Our amen YouTube channel is amen youtube.com forward slash user forward slash James Manuel 3. Amen. Our Facebook page is facebook.com forward slash Apostolic Holiness Church of Jesus Christ. Amen. We're also on Twitter. That's twitter.com forward slash apostolic HCJC. Amen. And praise God. Hallelujah. You're more than welcome. Amen. To tune in to today's, amen, radio broadcast that will be, amen, broadcasted at, amen, KIOU 1480 AM. Amen. That's if you're in the in or near the Shreveport, Louisiana area but praise god even if you're not amen praise god you can still tune in amen uh through their website amen that's wilkinsradio.com amen so you can go to wilkinsradio.com amen and then click on amen listen live amen and then after you click on listen live you click on the link that says k-i-o-u 1480 a.m shreveport louisiana and once you click on that then it will stream you in <clears throat> amen through the Amen. Radio broadcast. Amen. To my understanding, it's like a five minute lag on that. So it likely won't start if you go on their website to like 935. Well, Central Standard Time starts at 930, but their website is like a five minute lag. <clears throat> so it would be uh, 935 Central Standard Time. And of course, if you're in California, that's 735. Amen. And praise God. Eastern Standard Time. Amen. That would be Amen. Praise God. 1035. Yeah. So, amen. But they also have, amen, praise God, a tune-in radio app. Amen. And I think it's pretty close to real time. So, amen, if you have that app or praise God, you can, <clears throat> amen, go either to Google Play or, or the Apple App Store, amen, and download it. It's free. Amen. It's called TuneIn Radio. And then once you do that, you can search, uh, uh, within the app, amen, K-I-O-U, 1480 AM, amen, you can tune in this morning, amen, the radio broadcast is every Sunday, amen, on that radio station from 9.30 AM until 10 AM Central Standard Time, amen, so we thank God for your listening, amen, and praise God, amen, and praise God, and you're more than welcome, amen, we would appreciate it, amen, you can, <clears throat> amen, share this link, Amen. To others, amen. Praise God, whether they be of like precious faith or whether they need to hear the gospel themselves, amen, or what must they do to be saved, amen. Praise God. So you can share the link, praise God, either through text message or email or through Facebook or Twitter, amen. Praise God, so others can hear the truth of the gospel, amen, as to what must they do to be saved, amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because only the truth will make them free. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. And as you can see, amen, that's all we preach. Amen. Not preaching for fame or fortune or money. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'd rather be broke. Amen. Thank God I'm not broke. 
but I'd rather be broke, amen, preaching the truth, amen, praise God, and to stand before people, amen, speaking and preaching lies, amen, with large amounts and bank accounts, amen, on my way to hell, amen, praise God, hallelujah, I, hallelujah, have no desire to gain the world and lose my soul, amen, so that's why, hallelujah, glory to Jesus, amen, we are speaking the truth. Amen. And we're speaking it in love, even though it may not sound as smooth. Amen. Praise God. But hallelujah. Amen. It is love that is motivating me. Amen. To tell you the truth, because praise God. Hallelujah. When you love someone, you would tell them the truth, even if they don't want to hear it. Amen. So until our next broad, well, webcast. Amen. Praise God. Radio broadcast is coming on today.